Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have up to now we have learned how to serve the static files like CSS, JS files also we have seen it. So we understood how to write the CSS and how to use that CSS file in our templates we have seen. Now uh, this is not this is a Node.js session. This is not a CSS or HTML session. I don't want to write this all HTML. Uh, I don't want to write this as CSS and all those things. So let's try to import the popular library which we will be using all through our sessions. That is nothing but Bootstrap. So how can we include this Bootstrap in the Node CSS? Let's try to see it. Normally, how we can install it? Node.js. We can install it like something like npm install Bootstrap. Okay. So I am adding it as a dependency, not a dev dependency. Why? Because it will be used in our project. So if you install the Bootstrap, let it install. So we have installed the bootstrap here. One method is normally if you try to see in the package.json, if you go into this package.json, here you will be able to see the bootstrap 5.2.0 at the current time of recording. It was 5.2.0. So it has been installed. One common way what we can do is we can do bootstrap here. We can open this bootstrap and we can go to the 5.2 is the version so docs and here we can use this one what you can say is cdn file so where we can find the cdn file download so here compile css yeah here so we can have we can use this cdn file bootstrap.win.css and directly we can paste it in our homepage.html file this is the common way so there is no need for us to work hard so here I can use directly before this one for every templates I can use this one. Now if I try to execute npm start, if I try to execute npm start, yeah, let's try to see the output for this one. If I try to see the output, yeah, now the bootstrap has been loaded in the network. If you try to see bootstrap.min.cs has been loaded. So this is one way. So this is a direct way. Now we have installed the bootstrap in our node.js modules. Okay. And we want to use this one. So how can we use this one is. So here in we have npm install node bootstrap. And now if you want to use this one, if you go into the home page, we cannot use something like node modules like this. We cannot use it. Why? Because so we have only the static files here that CSS dot main dot CSS. Now how to use that one is in the app dot JS file. You can mention here in a such way that app dot use. And here I want to use the slash CSS. So with which I need to call. So that means uh, the root what I was the path what I was trying to use it. So I can call it with the slash CSS. And the path is here is nothing but express dot static. So the path is nothing but what I can say is path dot join. And here it will be root directory in the root directory from root directory. I can go to node modules so inside this node modules we will be having a bootstrap and inside this bootstrap we will be having a dist and inside this dist we will be having a css so up to here so we will be having okay here it should be comma yeah so up to here root directory why i am keeping these all the comma means because of the os independent so if you try to mention node module slash 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 like that means so in Linux, maybe it will be working in Windows may not it will be working. So because of that one, the directory separator. So the lets the node JS decide what is the directory separator it want to keep it. So that is the reason I am keeping the comma like this. Now here we have used node inside the node modules bootstrap dis slash CSS. Whoever comes to the slash CSS like this means. So you can search in the slash public slash CSS or otherwise if you are not able to find it, then you can go into this node module bootstrap dot dis slash CSS. So now what I can do is here inside this homepage.html file, I can write in a such a way that so here link css slash bootstrap.min.css. Now it will try to check in the public slash CSS. It will try to see it. It will not able to find. Okay, bootstrap.min.css file, it will not able to find. Then afterwards it will go to the CSS and it will try to see that whether any bootstrap.min.css file is there in the node modules like that. So where I have mentioned here bootstrap.css. It will be able to find it and we are having a prefix here. 
okay we are we already have written it here not a problem so here so here we can use it so like this and we can do it now let's try to execute the code if i try to execute this code now this time we are able to get the bootstrap.min.css from the local host local host css lat css slash bootstrap.min.css but this one is getting from the node modules but here we have given a path in such a way that so whenever you are getting css slash bootstrap.min.css means so you need to go to here you can also place it here so for example let's say that ww root if you mention ww root here so whichever comes so like this slash ww root means so you go into this public and you need to do it so here what you need to give here you need to give public slash so sorry ww root slash now this one will work if you go here and if you try to execute it so then also it will work but here it will be having ww root for this one you will be having only css why because the next middleware is executing this css thing so slash css so like this we will be using so i don't want to use this ww root i want to keep it like that only and here i can keep remove this css so this is how we will be using the bootstrap in our node.js file so hope you understood about this bootstrap how we are using this node.js so now from our from in this application onwards what we will try to do is we will try to use this node.js uh, sorry bootstrap in our node.js and we will try to design the template so we will do a small e-commerce project adding a product uh, these all the things we will try to do it and now in the next video what we will learn is we will try to learn about the template engine why because so round now, up to now we are trying to use these all things now if i want to place it means so here i can copy this one and i need to place in all the things which are present in the views so here i need to place it and here i need to place it so here like this i need to place it so this creates a problem for us so if you have any template engine so like php and dot uh, net like this we are having razor template for dot net and php will be having this uh, laravel template we are having so like this if you are having any template means we can use it right so like this we are having couple of templates in node.js like pug uh, handlebars ejs like this so we'll use one of the templates that is nothing but ejs will use it and we'll try to do it now here in the add user also let's try to import import it that's it completed now if you see once last time so home users so home so that css is coming from there and uh, let's go to the slash users slash add so here also i may here also oh, why this one is not coming user slash add means so you will be having this one okay user slash add maybe i forgot to add it i think so let's try to refresh it why this one is not coming let's go to the inspect element <coughs> and here in the network let's see okay fine so it is coming from the users what we need to do is here we need to keep slash css so that it can have a perfect uh, so absolute path so these are all direct so that is the reason we are able to get it so add users like this and here also you can use slash slash and for this one also you can use slash slash so these are some of the problems which might be facing now if you go here and if i try to refresh it hopefully this time we will get an output why we are not getting output so whether maybe it will be executing or not let's try to okay so these all the things are not saved okay so now we have saved it everything let's try to execute it now we are able to get the output see so any page so any page if you go so every pages is working so without any problem so now we have successfully installed the bootstrap in our application from now onwards we'll try to use this bootstrap to design our templates so we'll be using our template engine e ejs and we'll try to do one by one hope you understood about this one installing the bootstrap in our node.js project if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.